Last year we predicted that muted colour palettes, abstract and dreamy illustrations, and heavy but simple fonts would rule the graphic design landscape. And then, 2020 happened. But you know what? We were right. Over the past year, we've seen muted colours, especially on Instagram infographics, Instagraphics, heavy and simple fonts, and so much more. So if you want to know what's in store for graphic design in 2021, stay tuned. Hey folk, it's Alice from Vengage here. Today we're going to be counting down the top graphic design trends that you need to know about for 2021. So let's get started. Coming in at number seven, we've got muted colors. Yes, muted colors have made the list for the second year in a row. Muted colors are great for a few reasons. Number one, they're calming and we deserve some calm. Number two is that they look modern and refined. And number three is that they don't actually feel dated, despite already being about for the best part of a year. If you're not already familiar with muted colours, let me explain. When we talk about muted colours, we just mean a regular vibrant colour that's had some of the edge taken off it by adding black or white. In addition to making your graphics feel more serene, muted colours also add a lot of organic and natural vibes to your designs, which we know has been a huge trend already this year and we know it's going to continue into next year. A really good example of this is ClassPass. They use muted colours throughout all of their designs and it really ties in well to their health conscious branding. The colours they use are still interesting and eye catching, but they aren't vibrant or shocking. Like I said, we've got so many examples already from this year and we know this is going to continue for the foreseeable future. So make sure that you're using muted colours in your designs in 2021 to keep your visuals looking fresh. Trend number six data visualizations. Okay, so what do I mean by data visualization and why is it a graphic design trend? A data visualization is a way to make some sort of graphic, like a chart or an infographic, out of a bunch of raw data. And it's a graphic design trend because they are everywhere on graphics at the moment. So many designs now feature a chart, some sort of graph, something that really brings the data to life and really helps cement the point that the graphic is trying to make. Since all of our life is online now, it makes sense that we're looking for new ways to present data visually. And let's be honest, data in its raw form is actually kind of ugly. Honestly, I'm willing to bet that you've spent more time this year looking at graphs and charts than you ever have in your entire life. Obviously, that might not be true if you're somebody who looks at charts for a living. But in general, we've all spent so much more time looking at charts and graphs over the past year that it makes sense that people really want to bring some beauty into these images. Data visualizations also make your charts and graphs really clear to understand, which is so important. And that's why data visualization is trend number six for us this year. At number five, we've got social slide decks. The social slide decks are exactly what they sound like slide decks that were created to share on social media. These slide decks are mostly shared on Instagram or LinkedIn because of the way that those platforms handle images. They could work on other platforms, but the experience of viewing them wouldn't be as smooth. Additionally, the algorithms on LinkedIn and Instagram seem to promote these slide decks more than a single image. If you follow Vengage on LinkedIn, you've probably seen a share a lot of decks like this recently. These slide decks get 10 to 20 times more impressions than any other post that we share. Let me say that again. Slide decks get up to 20 times more impressions than a single visual. Huge. Now slide decks come in a lot of different designs and styles, so let me talk you through some of the basics that you need to know. The less text you use on your slide deck, the better. If people are going to be reading these slide decks on their phones, you really want to make sure that they can fully understand all of the information. So it's important to make sure that the text is large and legible. When adding text to your slide deck, make sure you ask yourself the question, could Hank Moleman read this? And if the answer is no, your text is too small. Keep your slide decks branded. Especially if you're a company who's going to be using slide decks as part of your social media strategy, make sure that you use your brand in the designs. And no, this doesn't just mean adding a logo. Make sure that you use the right colors, the right fonts and any applicable layouts or visual motifs as well as your logo. Want to know more about branding? We've got a video that explains everything you need to know. Check it out. 
With your slide decks, make sure that you show rather than tell. Because honestly, text is like, so whatever, and you can do so much better. And by better, I obviously mean visuals. So make sure that you're using icons, diagrams, charts, photography, any form of visual that you have can really help improve your slide deck. Visuals are powerful. People like visuals. Visuals are good communication. Use visuals. Graphic design trend number four, text heavy videos. As people are likely to continue working remotely for the foreseeable future, shooting new video content is proving a little bit more difficult. Even me just shooting this video by myself took so much more coordination than usual. It's no wonder so many companies are leaning on graphic effects and text to help carry their video content. It's much harder to jump into the studio quickly with your team, and if you need to hire a freelancer, that adds an extra level of complications. And at some point, people are gonna get bored of watching videos of people just staring into their computer screen. So in 2021, videos are gonna lean on text and motion graphics a lot more. A great example of this is Slack and some of the videos they've been producing lately. Slack has been using great text-heavy videos across all of their social channels lately. Some of these are simple how-to videos, some are product announcements. There's loads of different forms that your videos can take. What's best about their simple videos is they can use their brand fonts, colors, and any graphics they have to really help bring these videos to life. Not one of these videos needed new footage to be shot either, which means that the turnaround time is a lot quicker. Even if your company is cutting down on content creation, you can repurpose an existing blog post or a social media slide deck into a text heavy video. This is great to make sure that you always have some new material going out. Next up we've got trend number three, geometric shapes. Last year we saw designers use abstract and flowing shapes, but this year the shapes are gonna be more geometric and we're gonna see a lot more hard lines and sharp corners. Using geometric shapes can add order, consistency, and structure to a visual. You can use geometric shapes like a triangle or a half circle to add interest to your visual. Or you could use them to highlight important information or box out a logo. In addition, geometric shapes are actually a lot more flexible than the abstract shapes we've been seeing because they can be used as a visual motif. A visual motif is just the fancy name that we give to a pattern or a theme that repeats throughout a series of visuals. Take this example from Zendesk. Even though all of the colors and designs are completely different, the use of geometric shapes throughout really helps tie all of the visuals together. Not sure where to start with this trend? Let's count down my top three favorite geometric shapes. At number three, we have a triangle. A triangle is my third favorite geometric shape because it's really flexible and adaptable. It fits really well in designs, especially social media images. And that's because a triangle can come in lots of different actual shapes. You can use this triangle effect in any sort of space that you have left in your design to create interest. My second favorite geometric shape is a half circle. Now, I know that a half circle is quite a controversial choice for a second favorite geometric shape, but they make such a good design asset. Having a hard, flat edge means that it can tuck neatly behind any design or text box. Whereas a full circle takes up a lot of space on a design and leaves lots of corners of the design blank, a half circle fits a lot more neatly. And because you aren't wasting space, your design feels a lot more complete and compact. And my favorite geometric shape, is a rectangle. So versatile, so proper, so sharp. Anyway, coming in at trend number two, we have flat icons. So flat icons are the next trend that you should look out for in 2021. Much like history, graphic design trends tend to repeat themselves. If flat icons look familiar, it's actually because they were a huge trend in 2015. But flat icons are making a comeback in 2021. Recently, we've seen a lot of hyper-realistic icons, and while these are great and interesting to look at, sometimes they're a little bit creepy. One of the big themes running throughout all of these trends is that in 2021, less is gonna be more. And that's why flat icons feel so fresh. 
If you're creating a lot of visual content, flat icons are ideal because they work really well across all outputs. Social media graphics, presentations, reports, webinars, videos, websites. And that's not to say these icons don't have any depth or texture, they absolutely can. Take this example. Even though the icons are more flat, we can see a cheeky drop shadow in there, which really helps bring the icon to life. And hot off the press, our number one graphic design trend for 2021 is classic serif fonts. We know that you're going to be seeing this trend everywhere next year. In fact, you're probably already seeing it. So what do we mean by classic serif fonts? A serif font is a font that just has the little bits sticking off the ends of the letters like this. When we compare it to a sans serif font, we can really see the difference. Serif fonts are actually one of the oldest styles of typefaces still in use today. They date all the way back to the 15th century. Because of this, serif fonts are usually seen as classic and elegant. They really help build trust in your brand. You may or may not be aware of the dating app Hinge, but they are a great example of serif fonts. They use this font across all of their social media and branding. The use of the serif shows that they are a really classy and trustworthy brand. Another really great example of using a serif font is the investment platform Wealthsimple. They use a serif font in their materials to help build trust with their audience and to attract users who are looking for a sophisticated investment platform. I think they'd be a lot less successful if all of their materials looked a bit like this. Schools, businesses and health departments have had a lot of practice building trust this year and a lot of them have switched to using a serif font to do so. A serif font also seems a bit more serious and important than something that's sans serif so if you have to communicate important information this is a really great font to use. And that's probably why you've seen it so much on Instagram lately. Most of the Instagram infographics, again the Instagraphics, that you've been seeing probably use a serif font. So don't expect this trend to go away anytime soon. And that's it for all of the graphic design trends that you need to know about for 2021. Let us know in the comments below which graphic design trend you're most looking forward to using. And don't forget to subscribe to Vengage for more design videos. Bye guys!